the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has today decided to award the 2019 Nobel Prize in Physics with one half to James Peebles for theoretical discoveries in physical cosmology and the other half jointly to Michel Mayor and Didier Quillot for the discovery of an exoplanet orbiting a solar-type star. James Peebles pour des découvertes théoriques en cosmologie physique et pour l'autre mode pour la découverte d'une exoplanète en orbite de Catcritia Physicisque Cosmologie. He I'm sure it's on the screen. Uh, James um, Peebles was the whole universe was in a hot dense state when nearly 14 billion years ago expansion started forces the galaxies to move away from each other ever faster. We are living towards the end of the era. This is the dark energy. Then a fair amount of cream. This is the dark matter. And then just a tiny little bit of sugar. This is the ordinary matter. This is what science has been all about for thousands of years. We had thought that other solar systems would be similar to our own. We were wrong. In our own galaxy, our own Milky Way, there might be billions of planets. Some of them might be similar to our own Earth. I do have advice to young people entering science. You should enter it for the love of the science. The awards and prizes and awards, well, they are charming, very, very much appreciated, but that's not part of your plans. You should enter science because you are fascinated by it. That's what I did. <laughs> Thank you for your interest, and I hope to see you back tomorrow for the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Thank you very much. I think one of the easiest uh, physics prizes for a long time to explain, and uh, because everybody, you know, they, they can stand in the night and watch the, the stars, and they can wonder, oh, are there planets also orbiting these stars? And uh, until 1995 we didn't have any answer to that now we have an answer and we and it was not only the discovery of 1995 but also the avalanche of additional discoveries and uh, the expansion of this field of exoplanets that that was very important i mean if there are say 100 billion planetary systems, maybe 10 billion planetary systems with Earth-like planets, it would be highly unlikely and against all physical theories to assume that life only developed at our planet and not in these other almost 10 billion planets. That seems highly unlikely. As you said, I mean, there are three components and um, it's the theory, it's the, the the basic physics and astronomy, and it's also the instrument development. And of course, if we take exoplanets as one example, I mean, they, uh, Mayor and Kelo, they, they developed a new instrument that was really dedicated for searching for exoplanets.